PureRef is awesome to collect and organize your references. You can scale them up, rotate them, flip them, arrange them all by width or height, and even align them nicely. But let's go beyond the basics and see what else you can do with this great little free tool. Hey, what's up guys, Paulo Munoz here. Today is gonna be a very quick video where I'm gonna show you my top five features for working with PureRef, an awesome little software to collect, uh, keep and use references for your projects. Let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So the first thing I want to mention is that I have this little thing called the Stream Deck from Elgato and I have a dedicated profile for PureRef uh, where I have all my shortcuts. So what I'm going to show you on this video can totally be done using just your keyboard but I find the use of this Stream Deck really really convenient. The first one is custom presets with shortcuts. So this is at the top of my list because I use it all the time now. The idea is that you can customize the look and feel of PureRef including transparency settings. And the cool thing is that you can assign a shortcut to access that preset very quickly. You can right click on the PureRef canvas, select settings and then go to the colors tab. In here you can already try the different presets that come with the software by just clicking the buttons on the left hand side of the, of the little window or you can totally create your own by changing the color swatches on the right hand side as well as the master opacity and that's that's pretty much it you can just save this as a preset for me the key here is to have at least two different presets one that has full opacity and another one that you can take that master opacity down a little bit so you can switch between the two once you have your preset ready you can access it with a shortcut by default the shortcut will be the alt modifier uh, plus the number of the preset you saved so for example custom preset one would be alt four custom preset two would be alt five and so on and so forth because the the first four are assigned to the ones that come with the with the software so I assigned two of my custom presets to my Stream Deck button so that I can switch between the two very easily. So this is very convenient, like I said, because sometimes I want to overlay my entire set of references over what I'm doing just to check proportions or, or just be able to, to compare it a little bit more closely. And once I'm done checking, I want to go back to the previous stage. My next favorite feature is using PureRef as a guide. Now, this is probably the least obvious way of using PureRef, but I find it incredibly useful to you know, align things that I'm working on or measure things or even just for compositing, which is what I use it the most. I basically created a set of images with lines and transparency in Photoshop and add them into a PureRef file that I can keep in my desk and I just called it guides. Then whenever I need to, I can go ahead and load up my file with the guides and enter in this overlay mode, which you can access by holding control and Y, that's the shortcut, um, which turns everything transparent except your images. Now, since the images I created as guides are also transparent, I end up with some nice uh, simple guides around on the screen that I can move, scale, rotate, uh, you know, position any way that I need to, to judge the composition or to, or, or to measure what I'm working on in any other software. Now here's an extra little tip on this second tip. If you create very thin lines, make sure that you leave an area on each image that is larger and easy to pick with your mouse. That's what those little uh, color circles are for so that I can just easily click on them and select them. Now another thing that I like to do is lock the guides in place so that I don't um, accidentally move them when I'm just trying to figure out the composition and things like that. So the simple way of doing this is by locking the canvas which you can do by holding Control and R. Now there's an alternative so if you want to avoid the clicking of the image completely you can use this second method which is called transparent on mouse mode. Now this could be a little bit tricky because once it's activated with Control T the only way to disable this mode is from the taskbar. Now here is another reason why I have everything set up in the Stream Deck. I have a multi-action setup for this method with two actions that happen when I press one single button. The first action uses a plugin called Windows Mover that allows you to select the window. So what I did was just to choose the PureRef app. And the second action is the PureRef shortcut Control T again. So this way I can simply get in and out of the transparent on mouse mode with one single click and I don't have to touch the taskbar at all. So that's one of the perks of using this Stream Deck. Now let's move on to my third favorite feature, which is the grayscale image and color picker. Now this one is fairly simple and you probably already know about it, uh, but it allows you to turn your images from color into grayscale. And this is particularly useful to avoid, you know, color information that you might, um, that might distract you from understanding the values on an image or um, the silhouette or shape and things like that. So I found it really, really helpful. 
So the shortcut for this is Control Alt Shift and G. So a bit of a long shortcut. So what I did was just map this long shortcut into a single button in my stream deck that turns all my images grayscale back and forth. So I can just set it to grayscale and back to color and that sort of thing. Now you can also do this on individual images by selecting one, or you can select many and just use the shortcut Alt plus G, and that's just gonna turn them into a grayscale. Now, a really awesome tool that you can use with or without grayscale is to hold the S key on your keyboard and just left click and move around the image to select a particular color. This is great because it's just a color picker. It gives you the hex color, the RGB and the HSV values, plus a little icon to copy the code. A small but super powerful feature. Another really useful feature in Pure Ref is the cropping tool. Uh, again, you probably already know about this. Uh, this allows you to quickly crop an image by holding the C key on your keyboard, and then with the left click, just click and drag your mouse around uh, the area that you wanna keep. This is very handy, of course, because when you want to focus on, on a specific area of your reference, you can just uh, press the C key and crop it to, to that specific area. And I use this all the time uh, to reduce my references into only the bits and pieces that I'm actually going to uh, reference in, in, in a specific project. So for me, knowing and using this uh, shortcut is a must. Now, the really cool part about these cropping options that you might not know about is that once you have cropped the image, the rest of the image is just hidden. You can hold the V key on your keyboard and click and drag the mouse around to move the image within the cropped area. And you can also hold the Shift key plus V to scale the image up and down while keeping the cropping. So very, very useful stuff. So another way that you can use Pure Ref, and certainly something that I do often, is to use it as a way of keeping records for your process. I try to take screenshots of my process when I'm working on a new project, and I can use those screenshots or those images to go back and forth and basically see how much it has evolved. And this method is particularly useful if you are working on, let's say, uh, setting up a light on a scene or for your character, and you just wanna have a quick reference of how things look with or without a particular highlight. Once you have some screenshots, you can go ahead and select one and press the spacebar to focus on just the selection and then cycle through the images using the left and the right arrow keys. You can also press the Alt and S shortcut to watch the images cycle through automatically as a slideshow. All right, so that's it for this video. Hopefully you have found these tips useful. Uh, do let me know which one is your favorite feature of uh, Pure Rev in the comments or if you have any questions, by all means, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.